Welcome to today's 3D print. So, anybody recognize this little critter? She came in this. It's I Dream of Genie. This is actually a, not a print. Yeah, I wish. This is a Hallmark ornament that he sent to me for a print that he asked me to do. A Paul Feeney, um, what do you call it, commissioned a design job that he has made available for everybody. It's on Colts, $2.50 worth every penny. Stay tuned. So what did he do? He designed an exact replica of the I Dream of Genie bottle. First I printed it in carbon fiber just because that's what I had loaded into the printer and I was playing with it. I was experimenting with it, seeing what improvements we can make. Could we do it in vase mode and kind of, sort of, but not really. But there you go. This is the actual I Dream of Genie bottle. Now something people might not realize, but when the show started, the bottle was actually green with gold filigree designs on it. And that's because the show was in black and white. It was actually a glass bottle. I believe it was actually glass. Um, we got rid of the indentation on the bottom because that just caused problems. <laughs> Printing that with support was a nightmare, so we just made it flat. And that's it. Now, printing this was interesting because this prints is one piece, that's fine, okay, no problem. But this is also one piece, which creates a problem because while all of this prints fine, that is a hard overhang. So I came up with a simple solution to that. Plus, I wanted to print it on the ender, which I did. I cut it off right there. This is actually two pieces. I took this piece here and I printed it upside down like that. Now there's no overhang. So I printed this part, I printed this part, and just glued the two parts together. Problem solved. There's an inner and outer wall. I did three by three with a 25% infill, and it came out stunning. He did such a beautiful job. All the little cutouts and designs. Really, really beautiful. She almost fits inside. Almost, not quite. Her arms don't get through the neck. <laughs> But uh, that would have been cool. He's considering possibly designing the suite inside here with the couch and everything. And um, maybe, you know, have this unscrew and you can access the inside, which would be pretty darn cool. But that is the one from the original series. Now, when the show switched to color, as you probably are aware if you've seen the show before, they switched to a purple bottle. So, 3D Rax Purple Haze. Now I have a purple one. Same thing. Top opens. Very, very cool. He did such a beautiful job designing this. It's truly stunning. I love. Uh, I guess it's more for me because I particularly enjoyed this television program as a kid. This is one of my favorite shows. I mean, the show predates me, but when I was a kid, I watched those kinds of shows. Very cool. It's something that I am going to have a pleasure to keep a hold of. This, this is one of those prints where I won't get rid of this, I won't give away this. This will be something I keep. This will be something that will sit as a memento on my shelves because I love this show and I love this print. It is beautiful. I want to see how small I can print this. If I print this at quarter scale, that overhang probably wouldn't be a problem. You can see how hard that overhang is. It's actually flat. So the same thing here when I printed this. Uh, this is a separate piece Printed like that basically. I just told it to stop at that height. I don't know what it was. It's right there in the middle I think 200 millimeters. I want to say 200 millimeters I was told to stop at 200 millimeters and then I flipped it over and told it to stop at the inverse of that In simplify 3d I could tell it to just print to here and stop so it printed that part It printed this part and then I glued the two parts together not a problem um, To get rid of the seam on this just make sure you put your seam all in one spot See, the seam goes right down the back here. And then when you display it, just have the seam in the back and you'll never see it. Problem solved. Very cool print. 
He has made this available on Cults. It's two dollars and fifty cents worth every penny of it. No affiliate links or anything like that. I'm just going to give you a link to it to him. He deserves it because this is a beautiful model that he's made available to us. And go print out your own genie bottle. <laughs>